There's another view of us. Uh, oh, check out, check out this diver, guys. Whoa, <laughs> my phone died. How cool is that? <clears throat> so that down there, Central Park is deck eight. And there's a swim and tonic bar right there. Pretty cool. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, check this out. I mean, look at it. I mean, again, I know it's not, it's not it's not a full ship right now, but just the fact that all this exists is really cool. All right, you got oh here's Aquado Market. Check it out, Aquado Market. See here, is it open or closed? It's closed right now. Okay, thank you. Hmm. They're probably blocking it off because they don't want people going inside and taking a peek to the Aquado. I'll take you guys here some other time. I'll be doing a separate video for this too, so yeah, don't worry. But look at it. I mean, look at the colors. Like this, this is amazing. <laughs> I, I, I'm just so blown away by the ship and like these little, these little cabana things they have here. Like I love the, the structures and looks like they. I'm sure they're probably going to the event as well right here. Pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, guys, I'm gonna bring you a video of the ceremony and I'll upload that so you can see it. And also at 6:45. After the ceremony ends, at 15 minutes, they're going to have fireworks over there. So I'll be taking uh, footage of the fireworks as well. So stay tuned. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of coverage coming, a lot of footage. Remember, if I don't go live, I'm either probably going to be posting videos, right? So like I said, I already posted two room tour videos. The Royal Law Suite and the Icon Law Suite. I have other videos that are queued up. I just got to upload them. And then uh, you might see room tours first, and I'll do the naming ceremony. Then I'll do the fireworks. There's a lot coming, guys. Just wait. Wait. I mean, you guys, this is just the start of how iconic this next 10 days are going to be. It's going to be very, very special. So, all right, let's keep going this way. So now the front of the ship at the Aquadome. Again, we're venturing onto this new area together, guys. I'm, this is my first time walking in this space as well. So this is all new to me. Oh, look at this. That's kind of cool. I like these little... Uh, structure things they have here like green and yellow that's kind of cool right yeah you guys wait till you see my ultimate family townhouse tour that room is ridiculous like it's like a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> for one week oh my god you guys are gonna be blown away by what that and, and you guys i actually went down the slide in the ultimate family townhouse i went down it twice so i got i got video footage of that it's super funny. You see, you see, you see JT's legs <laughs> going down the slide. Oh my god, so fun! It was, it was pretty cool. I, would I mean, if I stood, if I were sitting in that room, like I don't like, would you want to leave that room? Because it's like you spend so much money for it, and you literally have everything you want. You have your genie, your royal genie that takes care of everything for you. So yeah, check out the hot tub, guys. The hot tub right here, beautiful right there. I mean, this ship is amazing wow i uh i don't know what to say i <laughs> i mean i'm talking but this is beautiful like let's, let's go to, let's check out uh, the first place i went to go eat uh, local fresh ready here we go all right guys again the food deck is absolutely amazing this is chill island i believe or it might be the royal bay pool uh, it's, I, I still gotta get my uh Gotta get familiar with this stuff. <laughs> so, ah uh, yes, I love that local fresh. It's gonna be absolutely amazing, guys. I actually might go uh, since I got I gotta go to the Royal Theater. I'm gonna probably go downstairs and grab us maybe a slice of pizza at Sorrento's. I always try to get a local fresh in Sorrento's as the first two I see. Like I'll explore Aquado Market and all the other areas later on. Yeah, there's just so much happening the first day. It's kind of crazy, right? So, all right, guys, check it out. Woo -woo, we got burritos. We got chicken quesadillas, cheese quesadillas, cheese, chicken burrito, beef burrito, a mixed fruit cup, Mexican salad, your traditional favorites at El Loco Fresh. We got some tortilla chips that you can enjoy with your nachos. And, of course, over here, you got your other, uh, uh, you know, fixings, right? You got... We got beef, pulled pork, and chicken. We got some fresh tortillas, some Mexican rice, some black beans, and cheese sauce. And over here, of course, is one of my favorites. One of two salsa stations. Hello. 
You got your condiments, you got your sour cream, lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, uh, you know, pico de gallo, jalapenos. And of course, before you eat, washy washy, good for you, good for me, good for us. Washy washy every day keeps you healthy. Alright, guys, salsa station. We got some lemons, guacamole. Now, one thing to keep in mind is they have guacamole here. For some reason, they don't have guacamole at the other station. So, yeah, I don't know why, but hey, that's cool. That's that local fresh. I mean, look at this, look at this, like, jewelry stuff, guys. It's epic. Like, this is awesome, man. Look at this. I, I'm in love with this ship. Like, I don't know. Like, you know, one thing that's really nice about this uh, three night welcome event and naming ceremony special is I get to kind of familiarize myself a little bit, right? I'm not going to get to see everything in three days, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's impossible to see everything on this ship in three days. Uh, it's just so big, right? But I'm going to do everything I can, try to get as much footage as I can before my family comes on this weekend, right? So I'm excited and uh, I'm just excited to bring it to you guys. That's a ton of content, guys. Like, this drink is really good. <laughs> Sorry, I saw a comment, but I can't see it, unfortunately. I'm so sorry, guys. YouTube is uh, YouTube is not being very icon-friendly for some reason. I just can't see the comments. So the, the live stream is it's not working, but at least you guys can see me, right? So, again, so tonight, be on the lookout. I might try to post it tonight, if not for sure tomorrow. But the naming ceremony, I'll try to get as much footage as I can. It's not going to be an hour long, don't worry. Uh, and then, of course... Uh, the fireworks. The fireworks are at 6.45 Eastern, so I'll definitely, you know, be doing that. That's going to be an awesome experience. I'll be recording it and experiencing it in person, right? So that's going to be pretty cool. We're back at the Live in Coconut, guys. So yeah, one thing you guys will notice about me, and for everyone who's had followed me on my lives before, right, I rarely show you the entire ship in one live. That's not how I do it, right? Uh, I show you bits and pieces of the ship, right? So today, we did the ship tour of the upper decks. We did the we did the category six water park. We did we did the you know uh, this upper the pool deck area that overlooks Central Park. And then we kind of kind of saw the Aqua Dome a little bit, not really, right? But again, guys, there's so much more coming. One thing I want to mention to you guys is uh, for folks who are still on and who may have joined, again, pardon the comments, they don't work. I might go live at any time. So I highly, highly recommend that you enable the YouTube notifications to all. That way, if you're free, and you're just hanging out at home, chilling, right? If you want to see what's going on Icon on the Seas, tune in to Cruising with JT because I'll be going live quite often and it might be more than others, right? So uh, I just want to bring you guys experience live and uh, really showcase. Look, look at this. This is cool. Look at this. Look, look at that. I mean, I don't even know what this is, but it's pretty cool. This is for the kiddos. Like my daughter's gonna go crazy here, right? I mean, let me let me flip it around, guys. Oh, what in the world? There we go. Look at that. Yeah, all these folks looking nice in their suits and stuff. Look at this. You can jump on these like beans and stuff, mini bags. Oh my god, that is so cool, guys. I mean, the colors on this ship are just phenomenal. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna do a pan around here, guys, without talking, just to give you guys, let you guys feel like you're here. Ready? One, two, three. And there's the band right there. Again, good look down at Central Park, guys. It's absolutely beautiful. And you know, one thing about Central Park is like, you know, right now it looks amazing, right? But wait till at night. At nighttime, the lights come on. I there's there's nothing more than I love than walking through Central Park at night. You know, there's a light breeze, maybe a glass of wine in the hand with you and your friends, your significant other, your family, your you know, your, and, and just walking through here, either going to like a restaurant or a bar, it's very very special. And just the fact that you're like in a Central Park at sea, like I mean, come on, man, like that's. Royal Caribbean like has wowed us for a long time and they've really taken us this to another level so again mad props and kudos to Royal Caribbean for 
changing the game again, right? You guys remember back in 2009 when Oasis of the Seas came out? That was a game changer. Oasis of the Seas changed cruising forever. And now you look at Icon of the Seas and what, what is possible to do at sea? And you'll see other cruise lines possibly following their steps, right? So um, I'm just so happy that, you know, I'm a loyal to Royal Cruiser. Uh, it is my highest, I, I cruise on Royal Cruiser more than anyone, right? And uh,